I've been told that the questions will, you will now be given one minute for your response. So my minute card will be gone. I will show the 30 second card when you have 30 seconds remaining and stop you at a minute. I won't take that long. No. I, well, I, just, I know you won't, but yes. there's a lot of people up there. I want everyone to understand the rules fairly. Okay, we need to continue to work with the uh, Wayne Economic Development, and we are a big funder of the Wayne Economic Development. And uh, we also have a person, uh, one of our commissioners, that sits on the board. And I'm a strong advocate of working with the Wayne Economic Development and our chambers. They're, they're part of that group, or they, we can work with them also. And uh, the land use, I think that any time that we do any kind of building or do use a, the land use, needs to be done within the infrastructure where we already have sewer, water, and all the, all the utilities. So um, I will continue to support Wayne Economic Development as strongly as we can, and I really appreciate what they do. And being in the top 10 in the U.S. is a great achievement for all of them. Thank you. Mr. Wright. Um, I believe in supporting the Wayne Economic Development, but we, we need to uh, put them in where the sewers, like Jim said, sewer and water and stuff is. We, we shouldn't go out and eat up our farmland. First of all, our farmers are the biggest employers in Wayne County. They employ, I believe, 22,000 people or 2,200 people. They're one of the biggest employers. And by protecting their farmland, we protect those jobs. So I would back that Wayne Economical 110%. Mrs. Smale. I would also continue to uh, work with the Wayne Economic Development Council. They've done a phenomenal job so far, and they certainly are experts in their field. Um, I would also continue to work with them to uh, create and develop new shovel-ready sites for infrastructure. I do agree also that we need to stay where there is already infrastructure there so we don't have to extend services uh, beyond the city limits. Um, and I think that this is something that new businesses look for and that we have been told uh, we are about out of the new shovel-ready sites, so it's really going to be an, a uh, priority in looking for those sites. Thank you. Mr. Mackey. I, I agree with, uh, with uh, salvaging or, or repurposing ground that uh, already has the infrastructure available. Uh, if, if we can uh, save the uh, farmlands for, uh, for agricultural purposes, that's great. If we can go ahead and take and reclaim um, areas that need to be redeveloped and save that in infrastructure, that's great. Appreciate that. Thank you. Mr. Mike Kranz. Uh, just so we're thinking about all this in the same way, first off, 75% of Wayne County is farmland. It is the number one industry in Wayne County. It uh, employs the most people than any single industry, grosses more income than any single industry, and pays more taxes than any single industry. I think it's pretty important then. Uh, the second point is that um, as you bring other Oh, and the other thing is, I do not like restrictions. Where people put a restriction on the property so a city cannot expand, I'm against that. Because that just ties your hands. And growth is important. If you don't grow, you pretty soon uh, die. That's just the way it is. But I'm 100% for Wayne Economic Development because that is what we need. So if you put all those together, you need a structured plan to make sure it works for the entire Wayne County. But you've got to keep those priorities. Farmland limit the restrictions or no restrictions and focus on development. Thank you. The next question is for the commissioner.